So the next question, the height of a hill is 3300 meter. So we can draw the height. Height means it will be the perpendicular level from the ground, isn't it? So I am marking height as AB which is given as 3300 meter. Okay. Again, from a point P on the ground, the angle of elevation of the top of the hill is 60 degree. So already the point is given as P. It is on the ground level. So BP is the ground level. From this point, the angle of elevation is given as 60 degree. So which will be the line of sight? AP will be the line of sight making this angle as 60 degree. Okay. What's the next sentence? A balloon is moving with a constant speed vertically upwards from P. From P... The balloon is moving at a constant speed vertically upwards. So from this point P, a balloon is moving upwards with a constant speed. Okay. After 5 minutes of its movement, a person sitting in it observes the angle of elevation of the top of the hill as 30 degrees. So this balloon is moving up. Okay. After 5 minutes, suppose that balloon reaches here. And the person who sits inside the balloon observes the top of the hill and his from his highs the angle of elevation is given as 30 degree suppose the balloon reaches c at the point c after 5 minutes okay then which will be the line of sight it will be ac and which will be the horizontal this will be the horizontal let it be d cd i draw perpendicular to ab which is the hill so this is given as 30 degree and the question is, what is the speed of the balloon? So, I will explain the question once again. Height of the hill is given as 3300 meter. And there is a point on the ground level and P. The name is also given there. From this point to the top of the hill, the angle of elevation is given as 60 degree. From the same point P, a balloon is flying vertically upwards. After 5 minutes, a person who is sitting inside the balloon observes the top of the tower and at that time the angle of elevation is given as 30 degree. To find the angle of elevation we need the horizontal line and the line of sight. Horizontal level, to draw the horizontal level I draw a parallel line parallel to BP as CD. And AC will be the line of sight making ACD as 30 degree. And the question is to find the speed of the balloon. Okay, so speed is there in the question which will be the formula we will take speed is equal to distance divided by time from here we have to calculate the speed can you say what is the distance distance is the distance traveled by the balloon from p to c that means cp will be the distance isn't it divided by time what is the time taken by the balloon to move from the point p to the point c that is clearly mentioned in the question after five minutes so Time taken by the balloon to move from the point P to the point C is 5 minutes. So, if, uh, if we are able to calculate the le height length of or the height of CP, it, we can calculate the speed by using the formula CP by 5. I will explain it again. The question is to find the speed of the balloon. Whenever I told in the beginning itself, whenever we speak, see speed, we have to apply the formula. Speed is equal to distance by time. So, here distance. Distance means the distance traveled by the balloon from P to C. That is PC or CP. By time is the time taken by the balloon to move from the point P to the point C. That is 5 minutes. So, speed will be equal to CP by 5. We have to find the value of CP. Okay. To find the length of CP, the conditions are given as 60 degree angle of elevations are given and the height of the hill is also given as 3300 meter. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the right triangle A, B, P. Okay. A, B, P. So if I take the right triangle A, B, P. Can you say which is the trigonometric ratio we can apply? AB is given as 3300 meter which is the height of the hill. And we need to find a BP. So with respect to C, 60 degree, this is the opposite side, this is the adjacent side. So we will take a tan 60. Tan 60 is equal to opposite side AB divided by BP. AB is 3300 divided by BP we don't know. Okay, tan 60. What is tan 60? Tan 60 is root 3. Root 3 is equal to 3300 divided by BP. From that, we can calculate the value of BP as 3300 divided by root 3. Let it be there. 
Okay, so BP we got as 3300 by root 3. That will be the same as CD, isn't it? That length will be the same as CD. Okay, so what we have to find is AD. Why we are going to find AD? I will tell it afterwards. So now we got the length of CD as 3300 by 3. Now we are going to take the next triangle ADC. So in that triangle ADC, we are going to take the side AD and the side DC. So which is the trigonometric ratio? It is connecting opposite side and adjacent side. Again it is tan. So tan 30 is equal to opposite side as AD divided by adjacent side as CD. What is tan 30? Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3 is equal to AD. We don't know the value. Divided by CD is the same as BP. And BP the value we got as 3300 divided by root 3. So which implies just close multiply AD is equal to just close multiply this value to the left side. So 3300 by root 3 into 1 by root 3. Root 3 into root 3 gives you 3. So we are getting the value 3300 divided by 3. And cancelling we are getting 1100. So we are getting this height as 1100. AD as 1100. Then can you calculate BD? BD will be total AB minus AD. So we are, we are given AB as 3300. Now we got AD as 1100. From figure BD will be equal to AB minus AD. Okay, AB is 3300 minus AD is 1100 which gives you 2200. Why we calculated BD is because BD is the same as CP. Okay, BD is the same as CP. So this implies CP is equal to BD is equal to 2200 meter then also the answer is not complete the question was to find the speed of the balloon what is speed again we have to take speed as we just we have to write speed as equal to distance divided by time what is the distance we already told about that distance is cp divided by time is 5 Okay, for finding the CP, we dealt with all these steps and we arranged that CP as 2200. So, we are getting that is equal to 2200 divided by 5. Okay, 5 fours are 20, again balance to 5 fours are 20, 440. Since it is a speed, the unit will be meters per second. So, the answer is 440 meters per second.